Welcome back to another episode. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese. This is my beauty channel where we come to slay, especially on a budget. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that red button down below and turning on your post notifications. As you can see, I'm rocking this reverse skunk stripe hairstyle. This hair is brought to you by Curly Me Hair Company. So of course, I'm gonna show you what's inside the box how I customize and bleach this unit, as well as how I install this unit. So if that is something you guys are interested in, then keep on watching. Bye. Lacey, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't, cause we going to Beverly Hills. Now if I'm gonna do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. In this box, I received a head wrap some eyelashes, an informational card, and a wig cap. This unit is a 24 inch, whopping at 180% density. She is silky straight Brazilian with a natural HD hairline. She is 13 by six with adjustable straps and combs. So first things first, we're going to bleach these knots using my Blonde Me Powder 30 Volume Developer and a little bit of the Rich Eggplants by Adore. So here I'm just going to create, you know, a thick consistency and then add that Adore Me hair dye to the bowl. A couple drops will be fine. This will help create a nice scalp-like unit. So of course we're going to put our got to be glue blast free spray to avoid over bleaching because you know I've been struggling with that lately trying these new techniques but I swear this one works really good and then I actually got some compliments from the last technique that I tried and you guys tried out so techniques are still going to work just make sure you don't uh, leave the bleach on for too too long especially if it's wet. And then here is the result. I'm going to let that sit for 10 minutes. And I just washed it out with water and look at how this hair is scalping, okay? So I'm just gonna wash this unit and then make sure I finish it off with some purple conditioner and silicone mix. So this is day two and it's natural body wave state so of course we're going to get ready to bleach this whole entire unit except for the sides so here I'm just parting the sides away I am avoiding bleaching the side of the frontal and then using got to be glue blast free spray to hold any hairs down that might you know have any flyaways break that up and put that away because we are not dying the sides this is a reverse skunk stripe so um yeah this is the whole point is to have either black and all white or all black and a patch of white you know So once you have the front already parted, I'm going to go ahead and part the rest of this hair because I am bleaching the whole unit except for the sides. Today I'm using my Blonde Brilliance Express 9 and my 35 volume developer, mixing that together and create a nice smooth watery consistency get your gloves and here I'm just going to bleach this whole unit I do it part by part from the bottom to the top and basically I comb through it with all bleach and then apply it to some foil so make sure you have some foil on hand Once I got to the nape of the area, I realized that the bleach was dying really, really fast. So I went ahead and started on the middle of my unit and avoiding the roots. 
so this is the hair washed out um, I only use shampoo I believe and here this is the same day and look at how much it lifted it lifted really good but we are gonna go in and bleach again because I want that nice silvery ashy blonde and then here I'm doing the same technique with adding a little bit of the adore um, eggplant color to the bleach I don't know what this does you can skip that step and just do you know the regular bleach and uh, just apply and then here I was kind of getting lazy and you know this process is a very very long process so here I'm just doing bigger chunks this time and making sure it's lathered up I started from the front of the wig this time and then working my way back because I realized the front actually processes a little bit faster and I want that to be the lightest part so this is me finishing up and cleaning up the sides where I don't want to bleach and I basically wash it out and so this is day three I conditioned it literally for two days straight in silicone mix and um, this is the a couple days after it's not really day three it's like day six <laughs> but i'm taking my wella toner and t28 to silver it up tone it up be my 20 volume developer for every one part of the bottle you do two parts of the 20 volume developer and just apply that all throughout the wig and let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and I just washed that out and uh, conditioned this unit for another couple of days and now here I already straightened this unit touched it up the root because the roots was kind of bleached all that and now it's time to install this unit cut off the ear tabs first and then we're gonna apply our glue today we're gonna be using bold hold this stuff is so bomb to me i always keep resorting back to this glue because it just works really really good and makes my units last for almost two weeks straight especially if you do three or more layers so we're just going to apply this unit i do have a very specific video on how i apply my units this is going to be a little bit sped up and skipped because i wanted to focus more on the bleaching process and don't forget to like you know condition this unit because we did process this unit so it might be a little bit dry but this hair is holding up this is me like you know two weeks into the future doing a voice voiceover and i'm gonna tell you this wig still on my head and she is still doing amazing better than 613 hair in my opinion so i'm actually shook that this you know unit is actually holding up even after i processed a lot of this Hair, okay and then I did not pluck this unit whatsoever this is the natural hairline that it came with like look at how bomb and natural it looks it doesn't look too wiggy so yeah it's been a while y'all I was like sick so thank you so much for the warm messages that I was getting and I finally got you know enough energy to finally do a wig tutorial for you guys um, so you know we finished that up use the wig dealer spray this spray is bomb like wig dealer need to sponsor me at this point because I'll be using all her products every episode <laughs> and then here I'm cleaning up my part I'm using my favorite born this way concealer it just makes my part really really good clean it up with my kiss me root touch up because you know the roots was looking a little a little raggedy we need to make this unit look perfect okay but now we are going to layer this unit usually i layer it off of my um head because it's easier but i decided to do it on and a lot of you guys said to keep my wig straight and i didn't really like it straight when i was cutting and all that i was like mm, i don't like this unit straight so i decided to add some curls some very loose curls and it came out really really good Once I finish up with my pin curls, I finish that off with the generic hairspray and then go in and start on my baby hairs. I do the same technique as always, get an alcohol wipe and just wipe off any excess residue and then 
press it out with your hot comb and then we're going to cut up our baby hairs at least two inches long and then I go ahead and curl it with my pencil curling iron and then just swoop my baby hairs. And after I finish my baby hairs, I just go under the dryer, let the curls form a little bit, and that's basically it. So the curls did fall a little bit, but it's still giving that layered look. I absolutely love this style. Thank you so much, Curly Me Hair Company, for letting me try out this unit. Don't forget, you guys, to like, comment, subscribe, and share down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to.